Hello everyone and welcome back to Netball TV. Today we have round two of the South Africa versus England Roses Netball series. In the first game, we know that England Netball won 54 goals to South Africa's 51. You can catch that on our channel. Just click the link above now. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more netball content. Netball TV is your Netflix of netball. So without further ado, let's get into the starting seven for England. Few changes from the last match. We see Barry Neal getting a start at goal attack. And that means Sasha Glasgow on the bench. Over on the South African side, we see very young players starting this time. Rolien Strukka starting at goal shooter. The captain, Emsomi, is on the bench, replaced by Nketsa. And Nicholas Smith gets a start at goalkeeper, replacing Pumza Moeni. So it is game two here. If South Africa lose, that means England will take the win. So South Africa have a lot of work to do today to try and even out the series going into the third round. Here we go, getting ready to start with the first centre pass for England. Let's see what the Roses can do. Straight into Cardwell. She's not confident to shoot yet, so she passes it out. Oh, Barry Neal managed to pick that one nicely up and a lovely little pass into her. South African first centre. Oh, that was a contact call, so they keep possession. Very quick passing here between the two. And Maseko with her first goal. She was quiet last time. Let's see if we're going to see more of her today. Oh, lovely ball over the top to Cardwell, who puts it in for 2-1. And South Africa are working the ball around. Not going forwards just yet, but they get a penalty call. And straight into Strupka. She had a great game in Australia, but unfortunately a first miss for her. But she'll settle the nerves soon. So England have the turnover. If they convert this one, they will go Two goals ahead and have the next centre pass. Barry Neal, that was great play from her. Let's watch the South African defence. Obviously very tight on Cardwell, leaves Barry Neal wide open. I think they're playing two on one against Cardwell today. <laughs> there we see Cardwell with a shot. So it's four goals to one so far. Great play by Maseko. Let's watch that one again. Beautiful drive into the circle and excellent vision from her attacking feeders. Barry Neal with another one. She doesn't feel confident to shoot yet from so far out. Oh, Eleanor Card will hold that one in very well. It'll go out to the circle for a pass into Barry Neal. Oh, that was almost a turnover there for England. South Africa need to ensure that ball is kept in their hands of their players. Oh, for Doju with a great tip there. Look at the elevation she gets. And we'll see another one just here. Oh, that was a great jump. Fortunately, she didn't get that one. And it'll go into South Africa for another goal. So it's 5-3 here, straight into Cardwell. And unfortunately, South Africa lose that centre pass for a break-in. So England have another advantage. Oh, that was an excellent ball right over the top. She passed it before she'd even caught it, straight into Cardwell. So England are now four goals in front in their centre pass. Oh, lovely one too to Cardwell, but she's too far out, so she'll put it out. Barry Neal going from long range. Oh, great tip there from Nicholas Smith. So South Africa get an advantage. Good hands there by Nketsu. Oh, lovely vision straight into Strucker under the post. Let's watch that tip again. Great timing by Nicholas Smith. A little bit of hesitation from Barry Neal, which helped. Oh, that was a little bit of a... Sandwich there from the defenders, but they kept possession. Maseko, 1-2. Penalty pass or shot. Just two goals now with, oh, lovely turnover for South Africa. If they keep possession, they will close that gap and have the next centre pass. Look at the speed from the attackers here. Incredible play by South Africa. And they have a chance here to even out. Seven, seven, oh, great. Another ball into Strutka. She'll get another chance. And that was lovely from South Africa to even out the score. Barry Neal with a nice drive to the baseline. It is getting very exciting here. Just in the first quarter, Maseko. We've seen much more of her so far. She's playing very, very well. Nice pick up by Neal there for a long range into Cardwell. And it's 9-8. South African center pass. Oh, well, that was so unfortunate there. We don't see what happened, but the umpire called a contact against Maseko. So England, oh, lovely by Pretorius, but she didn't manage to get to that one. 
So it's still fighting here to close that gap. Our South Africa. Oh, held ball. So they get a chance. Nice movement from Strutka. And Maseko is coming around. She has very, very quick feet. Fran Williams will need to keep an eye on her today. Over the top to Strutka. Lovely vision by Chiweni to go into the shooters. So South Africa with another chance. Just look at the speed of the ball moving through the attack. They're very, very confident today. Let's watch that one again. So Chiweni to Maseko. Back to Chiweni. Into Strutka. Back to Chiweni. And straight into the circle. Excellent play by South Africa. Okay, England moving the ball very nicely around that circle. And we'll see that one again. So Barry Neal. Makes a triangle here, passes it out. They create the space by passing out to the edge and Barry Neal with a drive along the baseline. Very nice play by England. Both sides look very, very evenly matched so far. South Africa get a pick up here. So another opportunity to go in the lead for the first time in this series if they convert this one. Oh, unfortunately, Strucka got called for contact there. So England get another chance straight into Cardwell. And we are 13 goals to 12 with three minutes left on the clock in the first quarter. Oh, lovely ball into Strutka over the top. So England going back. Oh, it's getting a little bit messy here. I think the pressure South Africa is putting on them is paying off. So South Africa working very, very hard to turn this ball over today. Oh, quick feet by Barry Neal. She didn't get close enough, but Cardwell will take that shot. Okay, Cardwell, lovely space, but unfortunately she got called for contact. So South Africa have an opportunity here to go in front. Maseko is going to go out from long range. Beautiful goal from her. With just over one minute left, South Africa have taken the lead and have the ball in their attack. Can they make a two goal buffer? That was beautiful. What a lovely sideline play here. Lovely opening up of the defense. 30 seconds left here and England are in the attack. They are two goals down going at to the end of this quarter. Barry Neal, lovely one-two there to get some excellent space for a great goal. Oh, that was almost a turnover for Barry Neal. Oh, unfortunately, the umpire called that one as a footwork, I believe. So Barry Neal gets a shot. We'll take another look at the umpire's call here. So she goes for the interception. Puts the back foot down as she touches the ball and then steps forward again, which made a footwork error. So going into the end of the first quarter, it is South Africa 16, England 16. It's very, very exciting here. Going into the second quarter, there's a lot of changes to discuss. <laughs> Pums Mweni coming back on at goalkeeper for South Africa and... Williams moving to goalkeeper for England, meaning Fadoju goes to goal defence, and Eli Ratu coming on at wing defence for the England squad. Let's see if any of those changes are going to make a difference. Eli Cardwell starts us off with the goal. 17 goals to England, 16 to South Africa, and South Africa in attack here. Rolling Strucker with the arm up. That's a beautiful ball in from Maseko. Let's watch that one again because that was really good holding from her and great ball from Maseko. Well done, South Africa. England in attack. Oh, Pums and Mweni comes around the back for an interception. So South Africa get a turnover over to Maseko. And she, oh, that was lovely little dodge from Strucker, meaning that ball went over the top. And South Africa had their centre pass. So they are now two goals in front. England in possession. Beautiful ball over the top to Cardwell. And she'll get another goal. South African centre pass here. Maseko looking for a feed in. Chiweni. Oh, struck her move back. But contact against Williams there. Let's watch that again. That was really great footwork from Williams. But there was a bit of body on body contact. Meaning the call went against her. South Africa in position. Oh, Fumi Fadoju gets a lovely tip, which means England turnover. Ball is going flying down the court and straight into Cardwell. Excellent, excellent turnover from England. South Africa in the attack, and it is a very close game still. If they scored, they will go even. 22 go. Oh, Pumza Moweni up for a nice tip, and it's a turnover for South Africa. They managed to pick that one up defensively. And it's straight down the other end of the court. And Fumi Fidoju gets to slow them down with a nice deflection. 
Lovely baller up to Strutka and she gets a great goal. Okay guys, let's play a game. South Africa have a penalty pass with two free shooters and one England defender. Who is she going to pass it to? Take a guess. Three, two and one. Let's watch. Goes into Strutka. Let us know in the comments if you got that one right or if you guessed wrong. England in attack, swinging it out wide to Allison, And it's straight into Cardwell. That was a lovely straight clear ball into the post for her. England playing back. South African defense doing a good job here. Oh, Neil and Allison having a good one too. Neil gets the shot. Oh, that's a turnover for Fran Williams. So England get the ball back. Cardwell up high for that one with a long range shot. And England are even Stevens. Oh, Cardwell couldn't keep hold of that one. It's turned over by South Africa. And let's see, super speed through the court, lightning fast attackers, contact call there, and another contact by Williams. South Africa hold on to the lead, but England defense making it very difficult for them to go forwards. They're passing it around very nicely, using only the mid channel though, England defenders preventing them from going out wide. And oh, that was close to a hell ball there. Another contact call here. So South Africa still in the attack. Oh, Ratu got her hand to that one. And it was a turnover for England because Shaweni dived on the ball, which is not allowed in netball. So England have another opportunity. Big ball over to Cardwell. And she gets an easy shot. Lots of nice balls going into Cardwell this quarter. Maseko moving the ball super nicely around the corner. That was a lovely play from South Africa. They are... Even, wow, huge ball. Barry Neal couldn't get up for that one. So South Africa have a chance to go in the lead. There is less than five minutes. Oh, Alison took a very nasty tumble there. Oh, she's hopping. Doesn't look good for her. Maseko doesn't want to shoot, so she gives it to Strutka. And South Africa are back in the attack. Wow, lovely connection between Maseko and Strutka. And we are... Two goals in front for South Africa. Oh, that'll be a backline pass for South Africa. They have another turnover. Opportunity to go three goals up. Maseko makes it possible. And oh, that's not a good sight to see. Imogen Allison coming off in tears, probably because of this incident. Yeah, it looks like her knees went there. And every netballer knows that your knees are so important. To stay healthy in netball, you need to have healthy knees. So she is replaced by Skulls, and there's a definite height difference between Skulls and Nketsa. But let's see if she can do it. Less than two minutes left here. England in attack. Barry Neal going from long range, and she gets a goal. South Africa, oh, that was lovely by Stutka. She popped out nicely there. Wow, great one two from Skulls to Neals. They have a great connection. Big swing around the circle. O'Neill was coming through with a drive on the baseline. She loves to do that. South Africa have 40 seconds and a four-goal lead so far. England in attack. They'll have 20. Oh, that's a great ball by Ratu into Cardwell. South African centre pass. Can they finish with a goal here? Struck her on the... Oh, and she passed it out. I think she didn't realise how long she had left on the clock. But lucky for her, she got a penalty pass or shot. Takes them four goals ahead into half time. So that's it for the first half. Please check the second half in our playlist. And don't forget, if you're enjoying the content, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Netball TV, your Netflix of netball.